It's Vlogmas oh. Day 16. Here we have Yarda Belly TV and Josh the food lover who just aced his exam. He is now a certified Exam graphical pacer. designer, photoshopper, illustrator, and all these things. Yes. So, if you need anything designed, Josh the food lover is the one. Yeah, so we are in the city. This is our old city, our old town, and we're just passing through. He had to come in person to do this exam because the teacher was not having it. Some birthday argument, and she was not planning to do it on online on a Saturday, so he had to come in. Yeah, so we're gonna look some food. I'm super duper hungry. Anybody else? I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. <laughs> that one here always hungry. So I'm not going to ask him Yeah, so Hubby is going to the supermarket. A Chinese supermarket. A huge one too. To do a video for his channel. Ew, you already been on TV. And the scent of fish just hits you like a ton of bricks once you enter. But it's pretty. Really, really pretty. Look like they had a restaurant type vibe at one point, but because of the pandemic, maybe they closed. I do not know. North Miami Beach. Total opposite. Look at these huge. These are super duper huge. Bigger than my hand. Where's that? The duck's head. Hold on. That look like fun. Let's try it. This is the Yeah, I'm trying all of them. Spicy you took up the lemon one? Not yet. There's a grilled squid one. Yeah, I took up that. And there's a, this one. I took up that. Roasted chicken wing flavor. <laughs> I'm doing a video. I gotta do it as a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what the trouble we get to set up the, the, the wasabi? leaving in the first the supermarket the people kindly told us that we cannot film don't ask me why in this modern day you cannot film in this the supermarket can you believe that that's ridiculous it don't even make sense because one would think that you would appreciate some type of exposure to your place of establishment or to your establishment but i guess not
think you guys understand the importance of this. Over 10 years, I'm not having access to Chippy's onion bits. And just going randomly to a store and seeing it in the store just chilling. No, sir. This is like the best, the best cheese curls ever in life. Do a, a globe, what do you call it? The Harlem Globe Trotters. Globe what? what? Harlem Globe what? Trotters, yeah. What do you want me to do? Do them style. This, the, 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 um. <laughs> anyway, enough of the foolish trick for the day. Alright, check out the skill now, guys. Watch your skill. Champion skateboarder. <laughs> Hi. My told my ear look bad. My ear look very bad, but I refuse to take it out. Why I do not know, but I refuse to. Guys, we literally just got back home and I'm about to pack the stuff away so I thought I would just do a little mini haul for you guys to show you uh, what we got at the the Asian supermarket mm -hmm. or Asian grocery store yeah it's not a lot of stuff you know just a little bit of nicks nuts here and there I love their you know fresh vegetables and stuff so we got some of that but let's get into it the first Thing that we got from them were these mushrooms and I've literally never had this before I, I don't even think I've ever seen this before in my life but it's called seafood mushroom of course hubby already has a plan as to how he's gonna cook that I don't know if he's gonna cook it for his channel but yeah this is something that we are you know stoked to try for the first time seafood mushroom they look too cute i was telling them these look too cute to eat but yeah that's the first thing let's just stick to all the veggies and then i got their cabbage i actually like their cabbage because it's softer and lighter and um I actually would eat it raw because the, the leaves are you know very tender and easy to chew but yeah so this is what I got from them by way of cabbage and yeah of course you, I don't normally get thyme from anybody else but our Caribbean uh, supermarket but we have none in the house and I saw it so I just got a little container a package of thyme got some baby bok choy yes love but I love chop suey love 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 and I haven't had chop suey in forever so I have a plan to do a little saute with this and chicken or even shrimp shrimp chop suey is good too but yeah yeah and next we got some cauliflower yes and I'm planning to eat, eat the greens I'm not sure if people normally eat cauliflower greens but I will this for sure sauteing these and having them since I saw that this 
particular cauliflower had the greens attached yeah most times i buy it there you know they remove the greens from it so yeah what else anything else by way of okay yeah snow peas oh snow peas is the bomb for stir fries so got snow peas as our final vegetable item and this is all me all day every day tambourine is my as a matter of fact this is not a part of today's haul but i just got this yesterday from the indian um grocery store mm -hmm. dry tambourine and theirs is done a little bit different because we're used to having the tambourine with just sugar but they put salt and sugar in their tambourine ball so it is a little bit different and interesting so yeah but as if that wasn't enough yeah i got some tambourine some regular tambourine of course this is sweet tambourine not our usual um mouth watering tambourine that we would have when we eat the sour one in jamaica but tambourine is tambourine is tambourine in my book so yeah we got a tambourine too we also got some noodles i've always seen this on best um food reviewer or strictly dumpling or mark wayne you watch a lot of those food reviewers and i've always seen them eat these delicious looking noodles yeah oriental style noodles and they're thicker and they look a little bit um more rubbery than the regular um they they they, they give me the vibe like i'm eating freshly made noodles so i'm excited to try this maybe in a stir fry with some um beef and maybe some of the snow peas and some carrots something i don't know but i'm excited to have that noodle and then joshua picks up this one which i think is something similar but this one has the sauce included in the pack yeah and then guys this brings back so many memories and nostalgic <laughs> feelings because hobby is the one that introduced me to sobo we call it sobo I, i'm not sure i've heard it being referred to as sobo too um in the asian community however i'm not sure if everybody refers to it as sobo but it's steamed dumpling and typically they put pork inside of it sometimes people put I think veggies or chicken but we never saw those we only saw the ones with with um, pork so this one is pork and vegetable so but we used to walk to halfway tree in Jamaica to buy so but from this little corner Chinese like when we said deep 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 in the corner and it was not even a clean looking place but their so but was to die for so yeah it's always a big deal for us to make sobo and then we found this barbecue flavored one too steamed barbecue flavored pork bun so we have those two by way of buns and then guys joshua and my hobby yardy belly tv if you have not yet followed him go ahead and follow yardy belly tv yardy belly tv and joshua they will be doing a video um of jamaicans reacting to asian snacks so these are all lace chips however they have some weird flavors to them it's not your typical barbecue or sour cream and onion spicy crayfish flavor numb and spicy hot i think you already see the theme this spicy thing so i know who is not going to be a part of that challenge this is something something i don't even know what this is but they're all they're all just weird 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 grilled squid white rabbit don't even ask me what that is i will not even try to guess what that is but white rabbit and then roasted chicken this is the sanest and most um natural normal flavor that is in the pack so yeah that is it guys as like as far as i can remember anything else that we bought was had in the car you know i i kind of like their sodas for some strange reason their sodas are not bad so joshua had one and we had it in the car but yeah just wanted to stop in and show you guys 
our haul for today. And I think this is where I might take my leave for the day. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's vlogmas video and i really appreciate the support i see the views climbing i see the numbers rising i see the interaction going and i really really truly appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch natural hair dynamics so remember to like rate subscribe comment and share and don't forget to pray all right i will talk to you in my next one tomorrow and until then be safe and be blessed